Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to look at a new feature added in Symfony 3.3 which is a way to write guard clauses using Symfony's expression language. So there's a couple of nice examples included in this PR. You can see that we need to define a guard key. We can also access the subject. In other words, the object that's traveling through our current workflow. We'll be able to access any methods that are defined on that object so long as they are publicly available methods. And also we can use some of the built-in functions, which if you're unsure on, then check out the documentation, which I'll link to in the show notes, but under the expression language component, I would advise reading through this section of the documentation, but those particular functions that you've just seen are under how to use expressions in security routing services and validation, and they come under here. Okay, so let's see how this works in reality. So just to quickly recap, if we try and sign up, we currently have a guard clause which blocks users from signing up if they're coming from Antarctica. So we'll try and sign up. And in doing so, we can see that that didn't work. We're coming from Antarctica. But if we come from a different country, then that works just fine. So we'll log out there, jump across into our project, and we can see we've got a service defined, which is our customer sign up guide. And if we go into that, we've got this guide against block countries, where we've got some fairly basic logic, which just defines a hard coded list of blocked countries by code. AQ being Antarctica, and then we check if the customer's country is in that list of blocked countries, then we block the transition. And crucially, actually, we throw a logic exception, which is why we get that slightly nicer error than what we're about to get when we just use the guard expression. So to begin with, I'm just going to jump into my services there, and I'm just going to comment that whole one out and try and now sign up as someone from Antarctica. And we should expect this to go through because we're no longer guarding against blocked countries. And we'll log out, and then instead, We'll jump into our workflows and under the transition of sign up, we will add a guard and we'll largely recreate that logic with the exception of throwing the logic exception with the nicer error message. So we'll say subject, which in our case will be our customer. And if we look on our customer, we can see we've got these various properties, the private, so we can't directly access them. But of course, we have the public methods, one of which is get country. So I can say subject dot get country. Remember our subject is going to be our customer and we can say is not in AQ, which is exactly the same logic. It's just written differently because it's using the expression language. Okay, so we'll save that and try and sign up again. And this time we should expect to be blocked, but of course the error is not quite as nice as when we use the more specific custom guard. So these guard expressions become incredibly useful when you don't want to have to create a full service just to do something as simple as this. But you would still need the more traditional guards if you wanted to, for example, check that every transition was only accessible by a user who was logged in or had a specific role. I mean, you could do it per transition by defining a guard per transition step, but it'd be a lot of work and you'd be duplicating yourself quite a bit. So there's no point really. But yeah, it's coming in Symphony 3.3.